Ear flap slide. This is one of our favorite elephant behaviors that we've learned about so far. Welcome, fellow elephant enthusiasts, to our continued exploration of the intricate world of elephant behaviors. In episode 11, we share another secret behind their social dynamics, communication methods, and unique personalities. As always, we'd like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to the dedicated team at Elephant Voices for their valued research in creating the Elephant Ethogram, which serves as the foundation for this series. So let's take a closer look at how a raspy sounding sliding motion that follows the flapping of their ears can signal a shift in movement for elephants. By observing and understanding these subtle cues, we can gain a better appreciation of the complexity and sophistication of elephant behavior. How exciting. The behavior ear flap slide can be seen in three different types or contexts of behavior, namely avoidance, coalition building, and finally, movement, space, and leadership. In this episode, we take a closer look at the context, movement, space, and leadership. And what does the behavior ear flap slide refer to? Well, Elephant Voices describes the behavior ear flap slide as follows. Flapping the ears moderately loudly and then swishing them against the neck and shoulders, causing a rasping sound. For added effect, the elephant may tilt its head upwards and outward, sometimes to one side, while swishing the ears against the body. Used by elephants of all age sex groups when changing activity and particularly audible by adult females during movement space and leadership and avoidance contexts, apparently as a signal to other family members of intention to move, depart or to change activity. And what does movement, space and leadership mean? Elephant Voices describes the context as follows. Behaviors involved in maintaining spatial proximity, initiating group movement, or influencing its timing, direction, or form. So let's jump right in and take a look at some examples. In our first example, we observe a typical afternoon with the Jabalani herd relishing an afternoon swim. While Fishin is visible standing in the water on the left hand side, our attention is directed to Lundi on the right. Witness Lundi as she emerges from the water, gracefully employing the ear flap slide movement with her ears. This subtle gesture serves as her signal to the rest of the herd, indicating her departure from the dam and onward movement. Did Jobu chase the others? No, they're still there on the other side. Hey Jobu! Jobu! 
We recently featured this compelling scene on our YouTube channel, capturing a tense encounter between the Jabalani herd and a group of rhinos. For the full footage, click on the link provided now or find it in the comment section. In this excerpt, Tokwe, the matriarch, takes charge, deciding to cross the river and reunite with Jabalani, who had already made the crossing. Notice how she subtly displays the ear flap slide behavior just before she sets off. This behavior serves as a subtle indication of her movement, her leadership, and strategic approach to navigating the situation. Sotombe takes the lead initially in this scene, standing ahead of the herd as she patiently waits for them to catch up. A few older cows, including Lundi on the left and Booby in the centre, join her, guiding the rest of the herd. Notice how Booby performs the distinctive ear flap slide movement, signalling the continuation of their journey, prompting the herd to follow suit. As Booby walks by, you can observe Tamisa, and Sabakwe trailing behind her and Satombe, while the remainder of the herd gradually disappear from view, following closely behind Satombe. In this scene, Mumbo is observed standing alongside a dam, accompanied by Kanisa. Mumbo demonstrates the jade trunk behavior previously shown in episode 10 of our series. After gathering information, Mumbo executes an ear flap slide movement before turning left and proceeding forward. This movement likely serves as a signal to the herd of his intention to continue walking in that direction, so that they are aware of his movements. Watch how Kanisa slowly turns towards his direction and decides to follow his lead toward whatever their next adventure may be. Tokwe and Booby are pictured at one end of a dam following a refreshing afternoon swim. Tokwe takes the lead in departing from the dam, signalling her intention through the distinctive ear flap slide behaviour before exiting the water. Subsequently, Booby decides to follow Tokwe's lead, pausing momentarily to showcase a foot swinging motion as highlighted in episode 2 of our series. She then mirrors Tokwe's ear flap slide movement before moving on in the same direction as the matriarch.
little bunny pushing. Quest done, it's living now. So there's Mambo. In a tranquil setting, Mambo, Sabakwe, and the majority of the herd gather around a tree on a vibrant summer day. Samapani begins his approach to join them, while Sabakwe, on the other hand, who is the dominant bull of the herd, starts moving in the opposite direction. However, before departing, Sabakwe subtly signals to the rest of the herd with a clear ear flap slide behavior. This then prompts Mambo to react and choose to follow Sabakwe's lead. You may notice it does not always impact the entire herd's decision to follow at that time, but it does make them aware of his intentions or the individual elephant's intentions. Oh, okay, I won't get, I would not have, I think once you're on Wi Fi. Once I get on Wi Fi? Yes, it will only. Let me quickly I'll check now. But I also didn't have um, signal. Let me see. Oh, I've got it. I've got a message from Shed CO 40. Uh, it's about 40, yeah, okay. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Thank you. While our founder, Adeen, and our awesome elephant carer, Owen, engage in a discussion about data and Wi-Fi signal in the bush, as you do, they continue to take footage of elephant bull Fishin, who is standing alone after a good old muddy swim. As the conversation unfolds, Fishin appears to grow bored and restless listening to them, and signals his readiness to move on using their characteristic behavior, ear flap slide ensuring the rest of the herd is well informed of his intention to move on. So as we wrap up episode 11, we'll give you our version of the ear flap slide to signal the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed learning about this behavior. Isn't it just fascinating? Please leave us a comment if you did and feedback is always welcomed. Thanks for tuning in and we can't wait to catch up with you again for episode 12.